Today on Mic Attempts, installing a grounded power cord. My 1937 Delta DP220 drill press still has the original power cord, and it's in bad shape. It only has a two-prong plug, so I'm going to replace it with a three-prong grounded power cord. The only time you'll see a newer tool with a two-prong plug is if the electrical components are double insulated, denoted by this square within a square symbol. If the tool is not double insulated, it should have a three-prong grounded plug. If you have an older metal tool with a two-prong plug and there's an electrical short, your body will become the path of least resistance for the electricity, which is a bad thing. This should go without saying, but unplug the tool first. Access is pretty easy on this old drill press. Just two screws and you're in. Take note of which terminal the black and white wires are connected to before removing the power cord. The jacket on the old cord is cracked and worn from one end to the other. A new 14 gauge cord capable of 15 amps should be plenty for most power tools. This cord has an SJO jacket type, which is flexible rubber. The O stands for oil resistant, but it is not suitable for outdoor use. If there's a T in the jacket type, it signifies that the jacket is thermoplastic which isn't as flexible, especially in the cold. If you'll be using your tool outdoors, be sure there's a W in the jacket type, which means it holds up well to moisture and sun. I crimped a ring terminal on the green ground wire, which will make it easier to attach to the drill press. I heat shrank the connection then strip the black and white wires. I chose a screw close to the switch that would give me good ground on bare metal. After reconnecting the black and white wires to the switch, I used the metal crimp from the old cord and some hot glue to secure the new cord. I'll run the ground wire through this vent hole, reattach the switch cover, and secure the ground wire with the screw. To test that you have a good ground, set your multimeter to continuity, put one probe on the plug's ground prong, and touch the other probe to any bare metal on the tool. That tone confirms continuity, so the ground is good. Feel free to rate this video, add your comments and questions below, and subscribe for more.